Hi, this is Les from Tom's Hardware, and here we have Windows 11 on the Raspberry Pi 4, currently running at the stock speed of 1.5 GHz on an 8 GB Pi. Windows 11 on Raspberry Pi has a very basic BIOS that can be accessed by pressing the escape key on boot. Via this BIOS we can uh, set up the configuration for the Raspberry Pi, we can set the resolution of the Pi and also enable greater than 3 gig of RAM. So if we're using a Raspberry Pi 4 with say 4 or 8 gigabytes of RAM, we need to enable this option to get access to the full amount of RAM. Windows 11 will run on a 2 gig Pi, but don't expect the best speeds and the best experience. The basic user experience is the same on the Raspberry Pi as it would be on a standard x86 PC. It feels pretty quick considering the low spec hardware. Of course being a Raspberry Pi we're not going to be doing any work with Photoshop, Microsoft Office say, but for general tasks, web browsing, emails, a bit of light gaming perhaps from the Microsoft Store, this should be fine. There are some caveats to using a Raspberry Pi with Windows 11. Chiefly, we're not going to get audio from the Bluetooth connection or HDMI at this time. You can plug in a Bluetooth adapter to get Bluetooth audio and also Bluetooth connectivity, but the inbuilt Bluetooth uh, adapter does not work at this time. Also, accessing the GPIO is troublesome. There are ways to do it. It was made possible in Windows 10 to a degree, but if you want to do projects based on Raspberry Pi's GPIO, Perhaps Windows 11 is not the best option and you should stick to Raspberry Pi OS. Also missing from this Windows 11 Insiders build is Wi-Fi connectivity. Wi-Fi does not work on the Raspberry Pi 4 with Windows 11 at this time. If you want Wi-Fi, again a USB dongle will be necessary or just use Ethernet like we've done in this video. Ethernet works flawlessly and we have no issues whatsoever with connecting to the internet. Windows 11 on the Raspberry Pi 4 really needs an SSD to get the most from it. We use a USB caddy which contained a SATA SSD and initially we had no success in getting it to run. After many attempts it turned out that Windows 11 and Windows 10 previously on the Raspberry Pi is exceptionally picky as to which drives it works with. We repeated the test with an Argon M.2 case which has a built-in SATA SSD M.2 slot and this worked first time. You may also notice in the BIOS that it is possible to overclock the Pi, but at this time that BIOS option should not be used to overclock your Pi as it does cause an instability. In our test we found that by overclocking the Pi to a modest 1.8 gig, so 300 MHz more than the stock speed of a Pi 4, it prevented our Pi 4 from booting. Overclocking Windows 11 for the Raspberry Pi 4 is possible. There is a special application that can be downloaded from the Windows and Raspberry Pi uh, Discord group and this sets up your Raspberry Pi 4 with a number of presets for overclocking up to about 2.3 GHz. Obviously for overclocking Raspberry Pi 4 we will need to provide cooling and for such high speeds active cooling with a fan will be the best option. Installing apps on Windows 11 is possible via the Microsoft Store and also downloading uh, .exe or installable files from the internet. We performed two test installs of the Arduino IDE, one using the Microsoft Store and another using a standard x86 exe file. Both installs work perfectly, with no issues reported during the install process. When using the Arduino IDE, unfortunately we could not see our Arduino board, despite installing the drivers and rebooting the machine several times. Looking in a device manager, we could see that there was no Arduino board in there, there was no USB to serial that we could use in there as a COM port. So at this time, we can't recommend using Windows 11 on the Raspberry Pi 4 as a means to write software for Arduino or similar microcontrollers. If you'd like to try out Windows on your Raspberry Pi, Windows 11 is currently the best option. It's fast enough, responsive, and it looks pretty good. Just don't expect to have desktop level performance with the humble Raspberry Pi.